Okay, so for templates and template stacks, we know now that we can add a template and we can put it into a template stack and then that's gonna pass that configuration out to, to a firewall. Of course, that would, it's kind of uh, restrictive if you can only add a single template to a single firewall stack and that that template then is in that stack and then it can't be used anywhere else. And so we have the concept of variables. Variables within uh, templates mean that essentially I can create a template as I have done here. So I've got uh, to demonstrate this, we're gonna use the localized DNS template where you may possibly have a use case as well. So if we've got the HA firewalls that are say in the UK and we have uh, PAVM2, which is in the States, you may potentially want them to use different DNS. You might want them to use either different publicly available DNS or potentially their own localized DNS services. So if we had the localized DNS at that point, we've got we've got an issue because if I just add the localized DNS with so if I get let's let's just so if I go to this here now, okay, I'm going to go to services now. We're in services, so we're in device. We're in the localized DNS template and we're looking at the service tab. So in the service tab, obviously, we have the ability to configure um, DNS servers. So if I've got 8.8.8, .8 and then I put 1.1.1 in there. Now that obviously means, and if I, if I then save that, and I add that template to both of my stacks, that means that both of my firewalls get that, um, get that DNS setting which isn't going to serve our purpose. So what we do is we use a variable. So if I just get rid of this now, okay, and you can see already, you can see the menu coming up there to say a uh, new variable. Okay, so we're going to use a new variable. So we're going to select this, create a new variable. And so I'm going to say DNS, uh, D, I've got to start it with a, a dollar sign, sorry. So DNS, local again it's going to be an IP and net mask again it's the variable type is is selectable and you have to select the right type so you've got FQDN IP range IP net mask device priority gives you an idea as well of where you can use variables you can use them in quas profiles you can use them like for the egress max and uh, link tag for SD1 um, AS number for BGP interface uh, device ID device priority and so on. So it gives you an idea of where you can use variables. They can't be used everywhere, but for the majority of stuff that would be interchangeable, the majority of stuff that would need customizing, you can use them. But we're going to use an IP net mask. Okay, again, it does exactly the same thing where if you don't uh, add a, a slash at the end of it, it's, it's regarded as a host. So it gives you the, the slash 32 net mask. So we're going to add, let's say our local DNS is 66.53.1.1. And that's going to be our local DNS. Again, what we have to do is we have to give it an initial, uh, an initial um, value that basically fixes that variable and says, okay, this is now a, this is a, a variable. This is a, a valid variable. Okay. So now within our, in our template, we've got DNS local. And for this, we're going to create our uh, global. So if our local DNS fails, in this particular use case, we want to say, okay, if your local DNS fails, you can't get DNS resolution. We don't want services to stop. We don't want you to not be able to get anywhere. So we're going to give you a global DNS, and that will be good old uh, Google DNS. Okay, so at that point now, we've configured our DNS local. That's going to be our variable that's going to change between the HA primary and the PAVM2. I'm going to click OK. So then we're going to go back to Panorama. We're going to go to the templates and template stacks. Remember, that's where we add our, our uh, template. And again, we have to look at the way it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be evaluated. And because we know that there is absolutely no other configuration, that's a complete blank template other than what we put in it, it is safe to put at the top because it's not going to change. It's not going to alter any of the um, any of the values beneath it that we're not aware of. So we're going to put that localized DNS there, and then we're going to add it to here. 
So uh, if I can find it. Okay. So now we have localized DNS and that's in both. But of course, you've still got the problem with um, the DNS because at the minute, that's going to be set to our uh, initial variable, which we can see. So we've got DNS local 6653.1.1. And again, that's going to be the same there. So in order to change that, we're going to manage the variables. This is within, of course, the template stack. So this is now locally applied to that firewall. In this particular case, it's going to be applied to these two firewalls uh, separately. Again, these don't have to be in HA. If you've got multiple firewalls within a template stack, it will be applied to those as well. So we're going to go to manage, and then we're going to click on the, uh, the DNS, and we're going to override it, because we're going to override it within this template stack. So we said that PAVM2 is in the states. So we're going to say that our states one is going to be 77. Okay, and we're going to override it with US DNS. Okay, now that's overridden in there. We're going to close that. So now if we go back, we can see that we've got it overridden in there. And in here, still, we still have the same. We can still see that we've got the same there. We've got 775311 there. But because you haven't changed the variable here, it's still the same. Okay. And so if that one's going to be uh, 77, I guess for the sake of it, we could override this one as well. And we'll call this one um, water down. So we'll have 1111. For, um, for our UK DNS. Okay. We'll close that. So now what we have is we've used the same template, which if we look at localized DNS, we can also manage the variable there. So we can then change that globally. Uh, if we had a variable and we needed to change it globally for all uh, variables that aren't overridden, you could edit it here and then that would reflect further down the line. Okay, um, and we can actually demonstrate that. Actually, let's, let's do that now. So if we were to change that, go in there, and we were to make that 22. Okay, and then close. So, yeah, so if we can come down to here and we click on that, so now we've got 775311, which is the value for this stack. We have 115311 which is the value for this stack. We know that we changed this from being 66 to 22. So if we now come into manage this one, for instance, which is US DNS, which is 77, if we revert it back to the original value of that, uh, that variable, when it reverts back, it will go back to 22 now instead of 66. So we'll just override it again. Uh, once it's overridden, you have to, uh, you have to reconfigure it. So we're going to 77, and this is going to be our US DNS. Okay, and now, so now when we go to commit and push, which we'll do, we'll do a commit and push, we can see a localized DNS has been uh, created, the template itself has been created, the HA primary stack has been um, edited, and that template stack needs to be committed as does PAVM2 stack. And then we can see the push scope is to our primary stack, which includes our HA primary and HA secondary firewall pair and PAVM2 stack. We can also pre we can preview the changes. So we can preview what changes have been made and we can see that we have our, our local settings, so our DNS local uh, variable we can see there. Just move it a bit here so it can be easier. So DNS local is there, and that's our variable, and then our secondary is 8.8.8, .8 .8, and then we have a variable DNS local which has been changed as well there. So that's showing us that within that template, we've now made that change. Okay. And then we have the template stacks beneath it. So we're going to commit and push. Once we commit and push, uh, commit and push will commit and push the changes that you've been made, the relevant changes you've been made. You can add to the scope, but it will select the ones you've just done. And then when we, uh, once that's committed, 
it will commit this now to panorama and then it will push it out to the firewalls and then we'll go back and we'll see the uh, the new ver uh, new variable values on the firewalls and how they're different okay so now that's that's completed on all and we can see that you know that the commit is completed here on pavm2 it's uh, committed on the the ha primary stack as well so now we're going to go and check our firewalls and just see what the the configurations are on there so of course we altered the dns settings which is in manage uh, setup of uh, services sorry and then we can just go in here and we can refresh this it's actually refreshed itself so we can see that our uk uh, DNS server is configured there, 1153.1.1. Our secondary is configured there, 8.8.8.8, just in case. VM2. And we check the same settings on here. And we can see as it, as it loads. So over here we've got our 77.53.1.1, as we saw. And then 8.8.8.8. So now... So now what we've shown is basically we can, so we can reuse that template now. We can reuse the template across all, and that's going to be our template. So if we have a global, a global DNS setting, a global local DNS setting, but we need to change it for um, different places, different geolocations, that's how we can do it within there. And that can then be edited, um, can be edited sort of outside of that as well. So if we wanted uh, NTP, for instance, we could do exactly the same thing with NTP. Additionally, as well, if we wanted to just add our variables into, uh, into our template, we can do that as well. So we can actually create variables within there that can then be used elsewhere. So if we go to manage it, just to point out, so clicking on the name of it just simply brings up what it's for, uh, what vSys it's going to be in, which is default vSys is vSys1. Um, the Templates obviously is, well not obviously, but templates, network and device configurations, where it's shared, shared is slightly different. So if you've got a multi vsys firewall, you either decide whether that lives in vsys1 or vsys2 or so on. And then that determines whether other vsys can use the same thing. Um, but we don't need to edit that. So if we come in here and manage it, so if we wanted to create our, so let's do for NTP. So NTP local and if we wanted to set our our initial one as um i don't know so we'd have 53.123 for ntp.1.1 .1. so global because we're configuring it in here so we wouldn't put necessarily global so we would put um ntp setting Okay, so now we have that set in there. Uh, and if we close that now, so now that variable, if we want to go back to here, come to here, so NTP. So now we can use that variable in there and we know that that variable is going to give us that address. Um, again, we could do the same with, uh, with the other variables that are in there. Um, if we wanted to, so let's create, so for instance, we would have, uh, we wanted to use, instead of that, we wanted to use the um, NTP FQDN. So if we wanted to use an FQDN for NTP as opposed to using an IP address, we'd simply select FQDN. Then we've got an FQDN, so we'd have time.google dot com that would give us our fqdn Again, we close and then we go back to our template and then go into into ntp we change this again for our um, fqdn variable and then going back to panorama we can view within our templates here that we've now got it set for time.google.com the variables that are applied to it are there so because that template exists within here obviously we've got two different settings for ntp you wouldn't normally do that you'd normally have either fqdn or, or um, ip address but because that exists in here we can override it in here and we can override it in other places and once it's reverted it will revert to the, the configuration that is within here so 
in here we've got all the standard configurations. So if you ever need to see what something's going to be reverted to, if you're going to revert it, you can check the template that it's coming from. Uh, and then that's how you use variables to push out different configurations to different firewalls, but being able to reuse the template within multiple template stacks. Very efficient, very, uh, very easy to do. And um, well, basically beats one hell of a lot of automation that's out there because you can push it out to all the firewalls.